Welcome back to another episode. As you can see, Kenny is back on the bench again because recently, after rebuilding the engine again with the new crankshaft, uh, I think there is a small air leak at high load because at a higher RPM, the engine struggles and actually leans out. So I think there might be a small air leak which only occurs at high RPM or under high load. I have to give a shout out to the Facebook group of Two Stroke Tuning because a lot of people suggested that it might be still be an air leak and they suggested to do a leak down test on the engine. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. So I've quickly measured up the exhaust part and I 3D printed a little bracket with some fittings and just went to the hardware store, a uh, pressure gauge, a shutoff valve, just some basic tools you can find at basically any hardware store. And uh, I'm going to try and pressure test this engine. So the idea on a pressure test is to block off the inlet. I have a little wooden pla plate with a gasket made that I will fit on here. And the adapter for the exhaust. And then you add a little bit of pressure. Uh, they advise to um, pressurize it to around 5 psi that's uh, 0.4 bars for everyone in Europe and um, it has to hold this pressure for at least 10 minutes if it doesn't there is an air leak and you have to go searching if it does the engine is fine and there is another issue so this is the setup I actually had to make a new one because I broke the first one this is a new model a bit better to print a bit sturdier so Two lines, pressure gauge, and the other line has a shutoff valve and goes into my bicycle pump. I'm not going to hook it up to the air compressor because that is too much air in one go. So when I pump this, it should make some pressure and hold it there. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. So now the quest starts on finding the air leak. So we got some soapy water. I'm just going to spray it on. And if, yeah, then we get that. So still have to fix this part to be more airtight. So that's the way a leak down test should be. Pressurize it, spray some uh, soapy water on. And if you get bubbles somewhere, that's the leak. So first up, I will have to fix this one and then continue. So this is version 527. We've made some metal brackets with the hose connected. I'm struggling to get this one 100% airtight. Did the same here for the gauge. Pay no attention to the gauge. I dropped it and since then it shows uh, 0.54 bar as zero. But uh, I have already found the issue, so we give it a pump, give it a bit extra, close this valve so the bicycle pump doesn't leak. Not sure if the camera will pick this up, but I think I have a leak inside my transmission. So probably the crank uh, seal transmission side is bad. Not sure if you'll be able to pick this up. Let's maybe try it again. Yeah, so we have an air leak. So that's how you perform a lead down test on a two-stroke engine. Just uh, block off the intake, block off the exhaust, make sure the spark plug is in and then give it some pressure. And if it's an outside leak, you can find it with some soapy water. Bubbles should start coming out. As you can see here in the, in the exhaust port, I can't really seal it 100%. You can see it starts to bubble a bit, uh, but I've also found the issue inside the transmission. That's probably 
also why this engine smokes a lot lately because it's probably sucking in transmission oil and burning that up so if you've liked this video if you thought this was helpful consider liking and subscribing for more and i will see you guys in the next one ciao